Hi, this is Sam Kevel, Design Technologist and Advanced Revit Instructor for Santa Monica College. And today we're going to look at how to use uh, legend components to create uh, window and door views. So I'm in the sample project. And if we go to their elevation sheet, you see that they have a window schedule, but there's no elevation view of it. And uh, the best working method for that is to do it with legend components, which if we go to the view tab, we can drop down legend. You see has legend right here. And we're going to call this, say, the uh, window legend. And then we're going to assign it a scale, something like half inch is pretty typical. And this will pull up a new view. In this view, you get a new option that isn't uh, widely known. And that's that you can come to the either the annotate tab and do the drop down of a legend component. Or you can go to the project browser and under the families, under something like a door, you're able to take a uh, single uh, flush uh, if we go into the windows. You're able to take the double hung window and you can drag it and you it will drop directly in engaging the same command. From there what you want to do is you see in the context bar it's going to start out as floor plan and floor plan isn't what we want for an elevation. We're going to change it to elevation front and the elevation will be able to be placed. We can then take and copy and paste this to our couple of different uh, types that we have in the project. And if I do something fairly simple like that, I can change this down and we can do kind of the larger one. And then there's another one in this list and we'll just use three types to start. Uh, I've dragged this up because windows are always placed at the height. And then using a dash line of some kind, we're going to place uh, an example for the floor below so that we can dimension to, always give the height, which is a pretty typical for a window legend. After we've created the view and placed all the information we want on it, we drag that from the legend, window legend, onto the sheet, and you'll be able to immediately create all of your different types. We can call this window legend one and two, and you can match completely your window schedule or your door schedule with the picture. The best part about this is that it's uh, dynamic. So because this is an actual picture of the family, if something were to change in the family, it would automatically update here. And if there were dimensions and those might break, uh, you might have to redo those, but the all the line work would stay consistent. I use these for doors and windows. And then the way that I use this a little different um, in the newer version is that I also do this for storefronts. So a full large um, out of the box storefront you'd get for a commercial project, I would do the whole window window sheet using the same command. And that's it. That's the steps and you can uh, look up what yours look like. And uh, I hope that you find some use in those and uh, aid you in your daily workflow. Enough for now and I'll see you in the next one.